empowerment it has claimed the attention of society throughout its history it makes an attractive catchword many conferences and conventions and political parties have uh, empowerment of people as their objective but what is empowerment in my last video i explained how potential can be built up by having a corresponding high goal to strive for in order to translate that potential into performance we need empowerment for an example a student who enters university with a goal of becoming a doctor his potential is built up over 5 6 years of study and then he becomes a doctor only when he joins a hospital and is empowered by this hospital he starts performing if he remains unemployed then despite of all his potential he has no scope to perform and express his talent so whenever people assemble together to work power has to be given or shared to each member of the group in proportion to the role assigned to them this is empowerment as we all know there is no limit to the power which a human being desires an individual human being on his own has very limited power there are ways by which he first tries to increase his individual power as much as possible he tries to use machines or instruments to extend his capacities beyond his hands and feet he gets a car that takes him around in a wider radius than his legs he acquires a computer to extend the power of mind when all these means are tried to their limits he starts forming groups with other people to achieve what is impossible for one individual by himself but even these organized groups have their limits too so is there a way to ultimate power yes there is if we bring in the spiritual dimension into life since in essence we all are spiritual beings there is an infinite capacity within us which can be tapped it sources the self or the great spiritual consciousness associated with each individual empowerment has two components the external empowerment and the internal empowerment external empowerment which is dependent on the human or secular factor has limitations as it is people dependent namely employers clients work colleagues the society and culture we live in however internal empowerment is limitless as it is as it depends on a limitless source the divine our soul or self is inseparable from that source and under proper conditions we have access to it our soul qualities that empower us are our attitude our character commitment enthusiasm persistence patience temperament loyalty and reliability for an example i'll share a story here uh, at the sita swamvar including ravan many rulers came to claim the hand of beautiful and virtuous princess ma sita all they had to do was to break the bow of shiva all of them failed including ravan who was considered to be the most powerful he had all the external empowerment possible to successfully break the bow but he failed only the virtuous prince shri ram shattered the bow with ease ravan and other kings failed because they didn't possess any internal empowerment they did not have the purity of heart and the spotless character worthy of the goddess of virtue sita take nelson mandela for example who didn't have external empowerment despite being a lawyer he was denied opportunities at work due to racial discrimination however mandela had huge reserves of internal soul qualities which gave him the limitless empowerment even though he was in jail for 27 years his performance was exceptional he performed as a superman eventually he succeeded in bringing political freedom in south africa external empowerment without internal empowerment is like an unsigned check both components are needed for optimum performance we cannot undervalue either component only when we are convinced of the defects of external empowerment we are likely to turn within to the divine and pay more attention to our soul qualities and in ideal conditions empowerment results in a life that is beautiful divine and full of happiness if those in power have society's interest at heart they will empower the right people for the right task and everyone will develop their soul qualities to the maximum degree this is the ideal of a happy society but as we all know there is plenty of abuse and misuse of power in human society we need to understand there are three major factors that draw external power to us first is our potential 
second is our soul qualities which i just shared like our attitude commitment etc and the third one is the human factor now this comprises the biggest problem with external empowerment it is an extremely common shortcoming and a cause of great stress and dissatisfaction in any society of people people in seats of power are selfish they empower without any justice and fairness power is preferentially given to favorites friends relatives to those who give bribes or return some sort of favors and these kind of complications are seen in every human society and group of people revealing the ugly side of working in human society those who have power stand in advantageous positions in society and that's why power has become a covetable commodity power is being misused to subjugate others power is being misused to impose the will of certain people over the masses power is being misused to cheat society of its assets power is being misused to conceal facts and distorting the justice system ideally power has to be shared equitably across the whole society power has to be placed in the hands of those who have a sound character to wield it for the benefits of society power has to be kept away from those who are likely to do any damage to society power has to be transferred to younger and young minded people society runs smoothly only when power is administered benevolently and that is very rare human power structures are always subject to defects however if we empower ourselves internally by directing uh, directly connecting with almighty then we will have all the power we need to carry out meaningful work on earth and when that light that spirit empowers us life truly becomes beautiful divine and full of happiness so for more videos like this please subscribe the channel namaste